Yet the good news today is that if you are living in rebellion towards God, you can humble yourself. You can believe on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. For God is offering mercy to all those who are willing to humble themselves and repent. This is the good news of the Bible, is that although you are a sinner, that God is offering mercy to you. Yet you have to be willing to repent. If not, you're going to go to hell. This is what awaits you at the end of your life. If you die without forgiveness of your sins, it's hell fire. But you don't have to go to hell. You don't have to keep living in rebellion. You can come out of the things of this world and you can give your life to God today. The Bible says that anyone who calls on the name of the Lord, they shall be saved. That means if you are willing to humble yourself and call out on the name of the Lord Jesus, you're not going to go to hell. You're going to be saved, the Bible says. And you're going to be with God for eternity. Yet, if you reject God's offer of salvation, there's no hope for you. You're going to go to hell. And this is the message today for you. It's don't go to hell. Get right with God. God is offering mercy, yet you have to come to a place where you confess your sins to God and you come to the Lord and you humble yourself. You turn away from your iniquities and you get right with Jesus. The Bible says that anyone who names the name of Christ, that they must depart from iniquity. That means you must make a departure from sin. Yet you have to recognize that you are a sinner. You have to see that you are in rebellion towards God. You are on a collision course with the judgment seat of God. You have to see that you are a sinner. If not, my friends, you don't have no hope. If you continue living on in this life and you die without the salvation of God, you're going to go to hell. And God is long-suffering. He's not willing that no one should perish, but that all should come to repentance. God wants the homosexual to come to a place of repentance. God wants the drunkard to come to a place of repentance. God wants the fornicator to come to a place of repentance. It's not God's will that anybody should go to hell. The only reason why people are going to hell is because they reject God's Son, Jesus Christ. If you reject the Lord in this life, if you reject God's salvation, you go to hell. Yet you don't have to go to hell. You can come to God today. You can humble yourself and believe in the gospel. You can come to God and say, Lord, I want to get my life right with you. I want to let go of the things of the world and humble yourself and sincerely repent and turn from your iniquities and get right with God. Confess your sins to the Lord and say, God, have mercy on me. I've been living in rebellion. I've been living after the dictates of my own heart and call out on the name of the Lord, my friends, because judgment is coming. Judgment day is coming. There is a day of accountability. There is a day you're going to stand before a holy and righteous God. The Bible says that it is appointed once for man to die. And then after that comes the judgment. There is going to be an appointed day where you're not going to be here anymore. You're going to die. That body that you are living in, it's going to fade away. The Bible says that your life is nothing but a vapor. That means once you get a hold of life, before you know it, it's gone. You're not going to live forever. And at the end of your life, when you die, death is going to steal away everything that you ever accumulated in this life. 
You can't bring your cars on into eternity. You can't bring your money on into eternity. You can't bring none of your accomplishments that you made in this life on into eternity. The only thing that's going to matter when you step through that door of death is did you get your life right with God? Did you humble yourself and truly turn away from your sins and get born again? The Bible says that no one can enter to God's kingdom unless they are born again. You got to be born again, my friends. You got to be made a new creation. You got to be washed by the washing of the water, by the word of God. You got to be born again of the incorruptible seed of the living word of God. And that means you have to humble yourself and you have to confess your sins. You have to turn away from your sinful life and your rebellious ways and come to God and humble yourself and say, God, save my soul. Humble yourself and lay hold of the mercy seat of God. If not, my friend, you don't have no hope. At the end of your life, you're going to die. And everything in this life without the salvation of the Lord is vanity. Vanity, vanity. All is vanity in this world outside of the salvation grace of Jesus Christ. The money is all vanity. It's all going to pass away. All the fancy cars, it's all vanity. It's all going to pass away. All the worldly music that people brainwash their minds with is all going to pass away. At the end of your life, all that's going to matter is did you get your life right with God? Did you humble yourself and find forgiveness for your sins. Was you born again, my friends? Because if you're not born again, you're on your way to hellfire. And you don't have to go to hell. You can come to God today. You can repent and believe the gospel that if you confess the Lord with your mouth and believe in your heart that God has raised Jesus from the dead, you shall be saved. For with the heart one believes on the righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. God wants you to believe in your heart. God wants you to come to him with your heart. This is a heart thing, my friends. You got to come to the Lord and believe with your heart. God wants you to give your heart to the Lord. It's your heart that needs cleansing. It's your heart that needs washed from the corruption of sin. Yet in order for God to wash you, you need to be willing to come to him and turn away from your life of sin and call out on the name of the Lord and come to Jesus Christ. Believe in the gospel. Turn to the Lord and lay hold of the mercy seat of the Lord Jesus Christ. If not, my friends, you don't have no hope. In this life, if you reject the Lord Jesus Christ, you have no hope. For Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through the Lord Jesus Christ. Your only way of salvation is Jesus. Your only hope in this life of not going to hell is Jesus Christ. Your only hope of not being judged for your iniquities is Jesus. You have to come to the Lord Jesus Christ, my friends. If you continue to go on your own way, living like you want to live, living in your debauchery, doing what you want to do, following the dictates of your own heart, you're going to die in your sin and you're going to go to hell. Jesus said, so likewise, if you do not repent, you're going to perish. That means you're going to bust hell wide open if you do not get right with God, turn to the Lord, believe in the gospel, get born again, and humble yourself, and deny your life of iniquity, and pick up your cross and follow the Lord Jesus Christ. Turn to the Lord because judgment's coming. Turn to the Lord because judgment day is coming. There's a day of accountability coming. Judgment is coming to the nations in these last days. The ax is at the root of the trees, my friends. And if you do not come to this place where you humble yourself, 
you are going to be humbled in the day of judgment and my friends it's going to be a fearful day for you on that day humble yourself today my friends lay hold of the mercy seat today while you are still alive for the mercy seat is on this side of eternity once you die in this life without the salvation of God you go to hell